Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to give you an introduction today to Optin Monster, to why it's such a huge um, platform, why a lot of people use it. You'll see browsing around the internet, when you're on certain web pages, uh, there'll be a pop-up and a nice looking funky, you know, sign up to our newsletter. Would you like a free ebook? Would you um, want to sign up for something or even just like our Facebook page? But basically, it's one of those opt-in things that is trying to get your email at its core. It's trying to get your email to sign up to then to be able to put you into some sort of sales funnel to go deeper with marketing, right? So what you'll see, what is really funky straight away, if I come up here, as somebody tries to leave, if you notice that, let me do it again if it'll let me. Uh, this is what's really funky with Optin Monster. As somebody tries to leave the website, they go up to the nav bar and it, you get the pop up. That's, this is exit intent. And here's the pop up look um, 12 proven ways to convert abandoning visitors, which is exactly what I've just tried to do, isn't it? I've tried to leave your uh, website and then it's asked me for a name and an email on a pop up. So. This is exactly what Optin Monster does. If I go to something like Features, here's another pop-up. Want to see Optin Monster in action? Learn why over 700,000 sites use it. This is Optin Monster. You could put this on your website, on any page. Say you're selling, I don't know, I work a lot with security companies. Say you're selling a certain, you've got a new product that's um, uh, a new camera. You might want to say, hey, you want to see our brand new camera only available uh, for certain... Uh, for, for a certain time or something. Yes, take me, request a demo. Or um, you could put a timer up here. I think if you go to pricing, you get a timer saying you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a, um, a discount. Now there's the pop-up again. Look, instantly boost leads, don't leave yet. So th this is everything it's doing and, it, and it's got a WordPress plugin and it's, um, it can be added to any website and I'm going to show you how to do it in a minute. If you look in my um, description, if you watch it on YouTube, look in the description or if you're in my training, below there'll be comments. I'll put times where I'm going to show you exactly how to do stuff. So this is an introduction and a beginner tutorial on how to use it. So um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to, I'm going to itemize everything for you and we're going to dive straight in, okay? Just before I dive straight into all the lessons and some real specific training, um, just pause me and tell me why you're here. Tell me what you're watching this video for. Tell me what, you, what you're expecting out of it. What, what it really does is help me on my next video, whether it's next year or in, you know, or I can create specific videos for you. So if you tell me why you're here, I can, I can really, uh, I can comment on it and say, hey, this video will really help you, or I'll create a video that might help you even more. So just pause me at this point, tell me why you're here, tell me what you're looking for, uh, and tell me what you want to get out of Optin Monster. Cool? So let's just talk about some features, right? So popular features, monster links. So basically, any link on your website, it can pop out a, an actual um, pop-up box, giving you two-step opt-ins, to make sure that people want to hear from you, geolocating, targeting, putting specific pop-ups to people from specific places. So if you know you've got people from different countries or you've got different uh, cities or states or whatever, and you want to set pop-ups for for uh, different places, then you can do that. Exit intent, which is what we just talked about, as somebody goes to leave the page. It pops up to say, "Hey, before you leave, did you make sure you've got everything?" The whole the whole back end is a drag and drop. It's really easy to use. I'm going to go through it in a minute and show you. You know, you just drag, you drop. Instead of um, instead of an email, you can have a yes or no option. Do you want to learn more? Yes. Are you not bothered? No, thanks. Mobile friendly. Obviously, you don't want people coming on your website and. Um, on the mobile and the pop-up taking over and they can't they can't remove the pop-up uh, custom messages monster effects are different uh, you know 26 different uh, animated effects a canvas you can create your own design so yeah you can do it from you can you can actually build your own designs the can tape campaign types you know you've got a light box that just pops up 
you've got a, a full screen welcome mat. So if someone's the first time to your website or um, yeah, usually if it's usually if it's a welcome gate sort of thing. If it's the first time, hey, this might be your first time on my website. I just wanted to introduce myself or introduce what we do and then they can continue quickly. Um, uh, side, you know, obviously um, in your sidebar widget or your website, you can put a form floating bar, which is this at the top look. You can put it at the top or the bottom. You can let it come in after a certain amount of time, do whatever you want. You can add custom timers. You see this a lot now. You know, this product is available for for you and it, it can say till end of December or whatever, or it can you can start a timer saying you've got two hours to make a decision and start ticking it down or whatever it is. You see it a lot that it's obviously a good converting strategy that that give people a little bit of um attention to say the you know the tension is you've got to do make a decision now if you want this deal. Content locker, I'm looking forward to testing that. Um you know, obviously they come to your website and you've got a, a blog post on something or you've got some information, you can unlock the rest of this article with, you know, putting your email address in and sign up to our newsletter. Uh, and then inline forms is if, you know, at the bottom or in somewhere in your blog post, you can put that form in as well. Exit intent we've talked about. Scroll trigger, obviously, as you come down a page, you can... Um, you make it pop up as it's three quarters of the way down. Most monster links we were just saying is you know any link on your website convert it into a an opt-in form. Inactivity targeting people that are inactive, where you get it on a lot of mobile phones where people look at you know go from Facebook and um, they're on your website but then they don't do anything for for a minute or two. But you can make it pop a box up so the next time they open the browser the box will show. Uh, but you, obviously you can do it on a, a website as well. Uh, time display control. Show, you know, after someone's been watching something for two minutes or 20 seconds or whatever you decide, can do the pop-up. You've seen that in action before. Uh, you're just browsing a website and all of a sudden something pops up. Campaign schedule, run time sensitive campaign. So you can set times and dates on it, which is cool. Um, and you might want to, you know, do it whether if they've gone to a certain... Uh, certain amount of pages then it pops up obviously you can target to referrals so if you get a certain referral from Facebook you might say hey thanks for coming via Facebook um, here's a Facebook discount for you and you might even put on Facebook if you click on this link you'll get a discount and the pop-up shows them page level so uh, you can set different pages for different um, pop-ups you obviously you've got you're going to have um, different products on your website and you might want different pop-ups for those products. You might want it to say, uh, I'm just thinking CCTV again, a security company. If it's a fire alarm category on your website or your e-commerce store, you want the pop-up to be relevant to fire alarms. If it's uh, burglar alarms, you want the pop-ups to be relevant to a burglar alarm um, page, isn't it? So it's cool that you can say on this page, or any page that starts with this, use this pop-up. On-site follow-up campaigns, uh, create on-site drip campaigns triggered by visitor interaction, so it can you can move people through a drip process. On-site retargeting, uh, so if the returning users, you might use different pop-ups than people that have just come to you for the first time. Geolocation, as we said, depending on where people are coming from. Fine tuning cookie retargeting so you can say how long a cookie remembers that person for. So it might you might have a pop up and then say, well, you don't need to show this person um, uh, that uh, that pop up again because they've seen it. I'd have to look into that more as we go through training. I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, device base, obviously different devices, different pop ups because you get um, you get. Uh, the, everything works differently on different platforms, doesn't it? So you want you might want to look into certain devices. Ad block, obviously, is nothing. I mean, I get why people have ad block, but you know, a lot of us are earning money off of adverts, and you're you know, you want to be able to pop up and say, "Hey, do you want to sign up for my newsletter?" I know it can be annoying for people, but 
it you know it's good that it, there's a detection system there that you can say hey if you want the full use of this website then you have to disable ad block or, or whatever you decide to do with those people obviously it interacts with all these different um crms and um mailing systems so you're looking at mailchimp and you know you've got active campaign and salesforce and and through like zapier you'll be able to use a diff pretty much anything you want so the features are really cool there's lots of things it can do that you know we're going to get into it next lesson next moment i'm going to log in show you it working show you exactly how easy it is in fact on my website if you go to my ticketing system it actually does have oh i need to refresh it it does have an exit intent pop up uh to go to a different page do you know why it's one of those things that when i'm when i'm um practicing or having a browse around it always works and as soon as i as soon as i uh go to record a video it stops working so my ticketing system, let me go on this one. If I go to leave, I've got the pop-up. So the only place I've got it at the minute is, here, yeah, did you need more information? No problem. You know, create a forum topic, contact me direct. So I wanted people not to leave without getting, did you get everything? You know, I don't, I'm not trying to sell them anything. I'm trying to say, send me a message. You know, if you didn't, if, you've, if you're going to leave, don't, don't go not knowing something. Here's the pop-up that just says, send me a message so but on my website i haven't done anything yet so in the next lesson in the next uh, stage of this i'll show you how to create a pop-up how to add it to um a website a wordpress website and how easy it is to get going on your first one right so i've logged in and within my dashboard i can see my active um plugins pop-ups uh, sorry, pop-ups. My opt-in pay, my opt-ins, and my opt-in types in line post. Join the forum. So this is the one that is actively working on my Zendesk on my ticketing system. So if I, I'll show you this one, and then in the next lesson, I'll show you exactly how to build it from scratch as we put it on my WordPress website. Okay. So what this one was, right? If we go back to this, this is this pop-up box. Um, and this is a yes or no option that I use for this. It's actually the yes is usually it'd be um, tell me more. Uh, would you like to know more? Yes, please. Would you? Uh, no, thanks. It should be yes, please. No, thanks. Right. But what I use it for is one to say create a forum topic or, or send me a direct message. So if we go into that one. So here it is, is the website. Here's the here's the join the forum. It was a, well, before I was. Um, I was saying to people, come and join my forum, um, but I changed. I didn't change the name of it. And so all I've got here is, it, basically, it's a really quick way of setting it up. I will show you from scratch in the start in the next lesson. But you know, join the forum. In fact, I should just call this uh, Exit uh, Zendesk uh, Pop Up. Right. So let's change it so it saves it. I can just save it. So what it's saying here is it's going to actively work on paulnicholson.com and the Zendesk um, website. I can turn it off Paul Nicholson because I don't want that to actually work on there. It won't make any sense. And I can add a new website. So if I've got more websites I want it to come up on, then I would add to new website. Cookie duration. So what it says here is the number of days before the campaign will display again once the user exits your campaign so if they put yes please or no thanks um sorry if they put no thanks or they click the x in the corner to close the box you can say well don't show this person again for so many days you don't want them if they've already been asked a question you don't want to ask them again on the next page or in the next day or five days away i leave it at zero because i don't think you know for every page they're coming to and it's it only shows this one on exit so as they're leaving it pops up so i leave it on zero so every time they try to leave it just says hey just before you leave did you get everything you needed so i leave it on zero to pop it up on every page right and then success cookie duration 365 it's just collecting the number of days before the campaign will display again once the user successfully opts into your success 
So once they've opted in, they you know they're in. You don't need to show them the same opt-in form um, anytime soon, dear. So it's got a year on that once they're happy. So if it's an opt-in to your email list, they don't need to see it every time they come to your website. So here's the theme. You can change it. You can quickly change it to one of these other styles. I'm not going to mess with this one because it is live. Display effect. You know, do you want it bouncing in? Do you want it to flash? Do you want it to sound effect? Do you want it to ping? Do I want it to ping? I don't know how quickly it takes if I um, if I clear my history. So I've just turned the bounce on. There's the bounce. Didn't ping, did it? But yeah, anyway, it'll take a while for it to take. You know, I'm going to take instantly. Here's the yes or no option. So I've turned it on. So if I turn it off, you get the email, sign in for email. Turn it on, I get the yes or no. So here is on a yes, create a forum topic. What do you want it to do? I want it to redirect to a new page. Obviously, you can have uh, different options. Usually, it would say here um, on the no. Where's the no? Here, contact me direct. The no would be no thanks. And then you would just change it to cl complain, uh, close the campaign. But I've obviously got on the no, contact me direct, go to this link. So any success information you can change, you can tinker with, display rules. So the only thing that I've got on this is uh, visitors browsing my uh, website, which is all, and then actively trying to leave the site. So show when a visitor tries to leave the site. And you can be aggressive to that or, or not so. And that means as they start browsing, as they start getting closer to the top of the screen, how quickly does it come in? You know, does it does it jump in right as it you know, does it aggressively say, Oh crap, they're leaving? Or are you not so worried? So you can change that as well. So I'm flying through it. Integration, obviously, as you as you get um if you want them to sign up to an email address or an email list, it would link to whichever integration that you want, whichever provider it is, you know, they've got all these different places it can connect to. And then analytics, you put your analytics code in and it can show you how many times it's been viewed, how many times you've won. So that was just a quick look at the back end. Next, the next lesson, I'm going to, I don't know, the next part, I'm going to show you exactly from scratch how to, to create one and put it on my website. Cool. All right, so let's start uh, and let's just do a, a full campaign from start to finish so you can see how easy it is to uh, to get up and running. I'm not an expert. I don't use it as much as, as I need to. I'm going to start diving in and using it more, but I want to show you uh, quickly how to do it. So you just create a campaign. campaign, campaign. Uh, we're going to add a template. Should we, let's preview this one. Black Friday Super Sale. Uh, I'll show you this because then I can show you the, the timer working as well, even though it's just a, just, just a, a taste test. Use this template, pull uh, training pop up. I'm going to put it on my website, and I'm going to I'm going to show you how to get it onto uh, other websites as well. So my website's a WordPress site, which most of yours will be, but I'm also going to show you how you can easily add it to any website at all. So start building. So I'm going to put. Uh, that's an image, is it? Uh, what can we change this to just for a test? Let's upload. Um, downloads. This is going to look ugly. Uh, I was doing it yesterday as well. Where are you? Optin Monster Training I'm looking for. Let's just do Optin. Here we go. Optin Monsters Full Training. This is not going to fit well. Right, but I'm going to leave it in there just for now. Optin Monster Full Training. I'm going to select here uh, static or dynamic. So static is obviously, oh, let's just click on the question mark. It, static is a standard countdown timer that follows the date and time settings you choose. So basically, if I say it's until 1st of November or 1st of December, I put that in. Dynamic is so many hours or minutes after they've started, right? So I'm going to change it to dynamic. 
uh, and I'm going to change it to 59 minutes. 59 minutes. In fact, if I just put one hour, it's a good little tick over, won't it? So it's going to tick over and tick down. You've got 59 minutes to save it, right? Um, what's cool on Optim Monster is if it's a white text box, Whenever you're trying to text, if you if you use internet tools enough, you'll know when you try and text change something that's white, you can't see what you're typing. So it's got a dark option, which is cool. I like that. Um, get the free. Uh, I'll get the training for free in the. Uh, now something like that leave it like that and this what i want to use it what you would do for this is integrate it within your uh, email newsletter if you wanted to create a newsletter sign up so what i'm not going to use it for this but what i would do is add new integration i'd go um mailchimp select an account i've already just signed it up uh connect to mailchimp what service provider crm they see what list so i've only got one list on that tester and i can save it and that would take the email address right i'm um i'll show you that and then i'll show you the yes or no where i want it to redirect to another uh site right display rules we'll come back to um success box uh yeah i'll just leave that for now you've you've got your coupon in your email but i'm going to change it for yes or no in a minute right uh display rules time on a page is at least five seconds so any five seconds after i'm going to add uh exit detected medium and save right so that is pretty much as quick as i need to to sign to show how to edit yes you're going to funk it out yes you're going to change things but i'm just flying through it you would connect your analytics here as well i haven't got mine connected at the minute so i'm just going to skip through this guys i'm going to put all this in a training program for you though check the links in the description you can come and i'll there's a slower version and not me going 100 mile an hour through something trying to give you information rather than uh, I can't show you everything in a YouTube introduction video, but there will be some training where if you sign up for Optin Monster, we'll go we'll go lesson by lesson on how to do things. So then I'm going to publish it. I'm going to click live and I can add it to a website via code. I can add it to a link and I can embed it in a website, uh, advanced campaign specific embed. Uh, and I can do all these three things and I'll show you, I'll come back to these two. But what I want to do is install the WordPress plugin on my site. So when I go to my site and go to plugins, I don't have many. Add new, type in Optin Monster. It's going to search and find this one. Install. I have it added on once already, so it may remember the settings. Activate, uh, connect to your Optin Monster. No, it doesn't remember enter your api key so i'm going to come back here uh, i was going to say i always keep saying i'm not sure if it automatically saves or not close the the program i'm going to go uh, my account api and get this uh api key which i will change after this video paste it in connect to optin monster your settings have been saved i go back to campaigns and now I've got this newsletter sign up pop up. In fact, if I refresh it, yeah, poll training pop up is disabled. But if I go live on that, go to my website, one, two, three, four, five. There it is. Optin Monster, Optin Monster full training, 59 seconds to sign up. Um, Paul Warner, Paul Nicholson.com. Thanks for signing up. Right, so it's as fast as that. You've collected the email. You've said that. They can close and go back to your website. I've just got the email on my. Please confirm your subscription. Double opt in. 
thanks for uh, subscribing. You'd have to do the human thing. I'm not doing it. So that's quickly how you would add that pop-up to your site, right? So that's how to get it on the website. That's how to put um, put a, a pop-up where you get a subscriber. And there's obviously a hundred other options. I've just noticed on the video, this is getting longer and longer. And I didn't want this introduction to turn into a an hour-long video. But there's obviously loads and loads of different options to make that pop-up work and for you to get the most out of it. So... I've introduced you to Optin Monster. I've shown you how to get the pop-up on your website. And, and now we're going to go deeper. We're going to go into full training. If you come to my training section uh, and go to Optin Monster, you will see. I've got a full free area for Optin Monster where we're going to learn more. It's completely free to come and sign up. You know, I'm, I've got official training videos in here how to create inline campaigns, how to create floating campaigns. I'm going to put this video at the start as an introduction, but then I'm going to I'm going to layer it in. So we've got our extra lessons. We've got a full forum where within my forum, there's Optin Monsters sat here waiting for you to ask questions. Uh, hey, Paul, how do I do a pop-up on so-and-so? How do I add a... How do I add um, exit intent or how do I put the analytics on it or whatever your questions are. It, it's too much of a platform for me to be able to show you in one simple introduction video. This is this was just introducing you to, to Optin Monster. This was just saying it's powerful. I like it. It works. It will get you more. Um, it will get you more signups. Uh, I've used it as a nav bar coming up at the bottom saying please subscribe to my YouTube that got me more subscribers and we're going to go fully into that in training so if you're still with me uh, um, look in the links in the video come and join my free training on Optin Monster we're going to go deeper we're going to talk about how to, uh, what works best what uh, what you know tips and tricks you've used in the, you know we'll we'll get a community going that we can all help each other get more leads get more customers in our pipelines get more people talking uh, and you know let's raise that revenue as always I know this was scatty I know it went a little bit haywire I'm glad if you're still here watching uh, I, I didn't intentionally start off to tell you so much uh, and, and and I probably waffled on a little bit too much but inside that training we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of getting this working. So I hope it helped. Thanks for staying. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Cheers.